these systems are great at certain kinds of things that people didn't realize that you, a machine like this would be good at. They're good at originality, creativity of a certain kind, uh, style. Even GPT-3, trained on some work of Daniel Dennett, could write paragraphs in answers to questions that people who know Dennett's work had a hell of a time distinguishing from the Dennett, actual Dennett answer to the same question. You know, there was a, a poem published in The New Yorker um, where somebody trained it on some f uh, poems of, by Philip Larkin. Mm. And they said, write a Philip Larkin poem on cryptocurrency. And it's astonishing. So they can do certain things. At the same time, they can't do four-digit multiplication. A few days ago in my undergraduate class, I gave the paid version of GPT-4.0 a four-digit multiplication problem and it got it wrong. They can't do rules and representations. So one thing we've learned from recent AI is that to our surprise, certain aspects of the mind are far more amenable to this neural net approach than the, kind we, than the kind of reasoning we associate with standard digital computers. That's a major discovery of the 21st century in my view.